In today's video, we're going to outline the key differences between Oxbridge and non-Oxbridge medical schools, help you to make the right decision about which path is best for you, and depending on which path you want to explore, show you the way to maximize your chances of getting into that medical school. Some of the things that set medicine apart at Oxbridge universities compared to others is their rigorous selection process. Now with medicine, really all universities have a very intense process where you have to go through admission tests and interviews, but with Oxbridge, they have higher standards for a lot of their applicants. That begins from the academics, as well as when it comes to their interviews and personal statements. As we know the medical school application process is so rigorous, we've actually helped a lot of people out on our Future Doc program, and in particular those who'd like to go to Oxbridge where there's higher standards. If you'd like to find out a bit more information about how we do that, check out this video here which outlines some of the key steps in the application and how we can help you. So the key thing about Oxford and Cambridge is that they use a traditional course structure. So that means they split your learning up into being a scientist and then being a doctor. And that is by their preclinical and clinical structure. Within the preclinical, you're learning really a lot about the science behind medicine. So that could be anything about how blood moves in the body through thermodynamics, or it could be going to cadavers and dissecting and really learning about all the key anatomy. And then you go into your clinical years after the three years of your first preclinical, and you go onto the wards and go into general practice where you learn about medicine from the lens of a patient and through the healthcare practice. Whereas what you tend to find in other medical schools is that it's integrated from day one, where you're increasing your clinical exposure year on year at the same time as learning the science behind medicine. It's really important to bear in mind your own motivations for getting into medicine when choosing to go for either a traditional course or integrated course. If you're someone that really loves the science behind medicine and that's part of the reason for why you're applying, then it might be best to look at the Oxbridge courses that are more traditional. But if you prefer a mixture of science and a mixture of speaking to patients, then integrated courses might be something you want to check out. If you'd like to find out more information about what life is like, you can refer back to those profile videos where we hear from students' perspectives on how they find adapting to a traditional or integrated approach of learning. A third key difference between Oxbridge Medical Schools and other medical schools in the UK is that Oxford and Cambridge include integrated degrees in the degree program. An integrated medical degree requires an additional year of study on top of the five-year program, meaning that it takes the standard five years to six years and you get two degrees at the end of your Oxford and Cambridge degree. You have to have an integration and it's a really good way of securing another degree on top of the standard medical degree as well. So Oxford and Cambridge medical schools have a traditional course structure, which means that they have different teaching methods. Rather than having large seminars or classrooms like other medical schools, they tend to focus on small group teaching with the experts in their area. Oxford have tutorials where there's around two to three medical students with one lecturer and they go through a lot of the content they learned that week with a lecturer whose whole research background is that subject. So it really allows you to ask loads of questions and you know clear up any misconceptions. The same thing happens at Cambridge, it's just under a different name. It's called Supervisions. And once again, it's that small group teaching with a expert in the area and it really forms the basis of a lot of their work for that week so some supervisions actually formulate what they're going to write in an essay for example. And finally one of the big things that separates Oxford and Cambridge medical schools with other medical schools is the access to prestigious research facilities and also academics who have spent you know loads of years focusing on a fine subject area within medicine. This really allows for you to be on the receiving end of the most expert and up-to-date medical knowledge and at the same time, collaborate and work with some of these researchers by getting involved in research early. We find that a lot of students at Oxford and Cambridge can actually go on to take PhDs, pausing their medical degrees and then coming back. So it does allow for you to have that opportunity to delve deeper into the scientific aspects of medicine. Another key difference between Oxbridge Medical Schools and other medical schools is that Oxford and Cambridge use what we call a college system. So they're made up of many colleges where you find that your experience is highly dependent on what college you go to. Kind of similar to how you're a doctor and you enter different specialties, that specialty can almost dictate what the vibe is like for you. And really it's important to know that they have a lot of smaller cohorts in Oxford and Cambridge which allows for you to build relations with a lot of your colleagues and that can impact on your experience. Oxford and Cambridge are great medical schools and they rank highly for a reason but it's key to know that it's not for everyone. And I can use myself as an example. I applied to Cambridge and Bristol. And for me, I went to the Cambridge Open Day and the interview eventually, and I just found that it wasn't for me. And had I known this, it would have meant that I would have been able to use that fourth, those four options a lot more wisely because that Cambridge option turned out to be wasted. 
So it's really important that you're doing the right research and you're going to those universities so that either four option is the right one for you. So we help a lot of students get into Oxford and Cambridge as well as other medical schools on the Future Doc program. But one thing that we really prioritize is making sure that all options are the right ones for you and that you're applying with strategy. If you want to find out more about our proven process and how we help people get into medical school, check out this video here. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.